Hi, kindergarten. Welcome back. We are going to write even more words today. So let's look over our learning target. We can read it together. I can tap, spell, and read words with the digraph. Let's see. So our first word with the digraph is going to be think. You can say think. I think you are very smart. Let's tap it out. I think. think. First I hear th. I know today we're, we're focusing on the th digraph. And when I put my tongue between my teeth and make that th sound, I know that that is a th. So let's start by writing our th digraph. Good. Next I hear I. That's a vowel. That's I. I, itch, I. N. That's an N. And then K. That is a K. Our think word is here. And I should underline my digraph. Where is my digraph? Yes, it's at the beginning of my word, that TH. Our next word is thin. Thin, you can say thin. Let's tap it out. Thin, thin. First I hear th. Yep, that's the TH digraph. That's, next I hear I. I again, and then N, there's our N. Let's underline our digraph here once more. Next, we have the word than. You can say than. Some words are longer than others. Than, let's tap it out. An, than, hmm. I noticed to say than, I put my tongue between my teeth. So I know that that's the th digraph. Next I hear an, which two letters say an? We've talked about this a couple of times. Good, an says an, so we'll write that next. And that's our word than. We're going to underline our TH digraph again. Next, I have the word thick. Thick is the opposite of thin. You can say thick. <coughs> Good, let's tap it out. Thick, thick. Now, I will give you a hint. This word has two different digraphs in it. Let's see if you can hear the digraphs. Thick, thick. Your turn. First I hear th. That's right, I'm noticing something about all these words they have. Next I hear i. That's i again. Then I hear k. Which digraph says k? We talked about it this week. Oh yes, that's our CK digraph. So this is the word thick. I have two digraphs to underline in this word. So I have TH and I have, that's right, I have CK k. Last but not least, I want to write the word then. First, I will do my work. Then I will go play. You can say then. <clears throat> Let's tap it out. Then. Then. Your turn. First, I put my tongue in between my teeth so I know it's the TH digraph. Eh, that's E, and then N, that's an N, 
then you can underline the TH digraph. Excellent job. We just wrote five words together. Let's see if we can use some of them to write two sentences, okay? So our first sentence is, I think the pen is thin. I'll say it again. I think the pen is thin. Can you say it? Good. First I hear I. I is I. I is a sight word and it's just the letter I and I know when I say I and I talk about myself that I is always uppercase. I think we wrote think here in green so let's write it again. T H I I N N and then K K I think the the is a sight word T H E spells the that's right I can almost hear you saying it the pen pen is a CVC word so let's let's tap it out put N. Your turn. Pen. Good. P. P. E. E. N. N. Is. That is another sight word. I. S. Spells is. Good. I. S. Thin. Did we write the word thin? Yes, we did. We wrote it in pink right here. So let's write it again. T H I I N. I think the pen is thin. Now I'm not asking a question, so I don't need a question mark. I need a period to end my sentence. Good. So I'm going to put a period right there. Great job. Let's write another sentence together. Let's write a little bit longer of one today. Mom was not mad when we made a mess. You say it. First I hear mom. Mom is a CVC word. Let's tap it out together. M -a -m. Mom, your turn. Good. M M, A, that's O, M, M, was is a sight word, W, A, S spells was, W, A, S, not, not is a CBC word, N, A, not. N, N, A, O, T, T, mad. Mad is another CBC word. I'm glad we're getting all these practice words for, for CBC words. Let's tap out mad. M, A, D, mad. Your turn. We start with M, that's M. A, that's A, D, that's D. When, we might need to use a digraph for this word. Let's tap it out first. W, E, N, when. Which digraph says W? W, H, smart brain, good job. W, E, N, we, that is a sight word, W-E spells we, good, W, E, made, so made has our tricky silent E, so, because A says its name in the word, Made. So let me show you. M mm M A 
that's A saying its own name, that's the long A vowel sound. D, that's D. And then we need our silent E, because silent E makes A say its name. It makes A make the long vowel sound. A, A is A. That's a sight word. I'm focusing really hard on making sure I have spaces between all my words so that my reader can read my whole sentence. Mess. M -s. Mess. Now, mess is a tricky word because it has something that we like to call a bonus letter. And we are going to learn about bonus letters next week, but here's a preview. When I write the word mess, m m e E, S, S, I actually need a double S at the end. So I need to add another S. And we are going to learn even more about that next week. So there's our preview, okay? To finish off my sentence, what might I need? I might need a period. Good. And if I'm really excited that mom wasn't mad when we made a mess, I might put an exclamation point. Good job. We are going to do a new cheer today. Okay, so our new cheer is called the dynamite cheer. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do it. Your work is boom dynamite. Your work is tick, 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 boom dynamite. Good job, kindergarten.